Hi, this is Steve Fabian. Uh, just want to do a quick video. I recently updated and refreshed the technology template on CodePlex and um, made some changes to the way uh, the templates created some of the files and added uh, quite a, a lot of functionality in, in the base class of the module so that uh, you end up writing a lot less code uh, in your views and your view models as well as the now the auto generation of the connection string to the entity framework so you no longer have to make any changes or touch the web config file in any way. Uh, so I just want to do a real quick uh, short video showing using the newest version of the template which is version 1.2 to create a quick module we'll create a module create a database uh, add a couple records in there and then display them on the page and, and accomplish all of that in just a few minutes using the new template okay so file new project we have uh, the new template which is version 1.2 pointing to the desktop modules of my dot nuke installation we'll just call this test create the project um, uh, for ease of debugging, I still want to copy the values here and place them in the properties on the application tab. Uh, go in and paste those in here. And then on the web tab, I'm going to make some the same modifications I made before just to make debugging uh, a little easier. So for the start URL, I'm going to put in the URL of my .NET Nuke website itself. Uh, use my local IIS web server. Change this. To point to the folder, the full URL to the folder of my project, override the application route, and point back to my .NET website. This will allow me to just hit Control F5 and F5 to do debugging. Okay. Save those, and we're done. We'll just come back to the solution here. We'll do a, a quick compile. Now I'm just going to Control F5, launch my website. I have a uh, .NET Nuke 613 website that I'm building in. Okay, I'm going to go to host extensions. Create new module from a manifest, point to my folder, hit create module. I can now place it on a page. and there's my module. So now I'm going to go back to my project, we'll go into the data folder, now we'll edit our entity framework, bring up the canvas, we'll add a new entity, um, we'll just call this um, uh, messages, test messages, name of our table, and we'll just do a, a single property called message, which is a string, we'll generate a database to create this table, so I'm going to get all the information from my web config file already. I didn't have to change the web config or touch it in any way. Hit finish. It'll generate the SQL to create my table and then I'll execute the SQL against my local SQL Express database and now the command is successful. So now I have in my database I have my web... Uh, uh, I didn't touch my web config file at all and I just uh, added a table and uh, property to my entity framework, created the database in my created the table in my database. So I'm going to just jump over to uh, SQL Express here. Let's refresh. I should see my test messages. Let's refresh. There's my test messages table I just created with my ID and message. And just for demonstration, I'm going to go in and add a couple rows in here so we can then uh, use the service to display them. Sample message. This is another message. Okay, so we have a little bit of data in the table. Let's go back. And now we're going to uh, take a look at our service. So I'm going to right click. Let um, me just make sure I rebuild everything first. Okay. Right click on my service, say view this in a browser. Okay. There's our test message collection. And if I uh, to the URL for my service. If I add test messages, I'll see my data, and there's my sample and my another. So now I've got this is the URL to my service, and I pass the collection, entity collection, at the end of that URL, and that'll give me all the data from that table. So I'm going to go now and modify my view model for the main view. So we need a collection, so we'll call messages, and this will be a knockout observable array since it's going to contain multiple items. 
and I need a function, so we'll do load messages, and this will be a function that will use the OData, the data.js OData library, to go ahead and make a service call. So we'll do OData read. Now, one of the changes in the template, now a variable called service URL, which points to my SVC file. So I just want to append to that test messages, the name of my entity collection. And when that finishes, execute a function, and data will be the return value. When I get data back, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is clear out my array. So viewmodel.messages.removeall. That'll get rid of any records that are in that array already. And now I'm going to use a jQuery each over the data.results, which will be the records from the table. And for each one of those, So each iteration through that result will give me the index of which record I'm looking at and the item, which is the record itself. I'm going to push I want to push that item into the array. Notice I didn't create a model this time. Um, last time in the template I created a model and then I would create a new instance of the model and then push that model into the array. Now we're going to this uh, we can use the knockout mapping library so mapping from JavaScript and we just pass the item so this is going to dynamically create a model from the this JavaScript uh, object and then push that model into my messages collection okay now we're good okay now the last thing I need to do is after I've applied my bindings I need to execute that method load messages. So now when the page gets displayed, my view model is defined, my function is defined, I apply all my bindings and then I'm going to execute the load messages function. OData is going to make a service call and get the data and push, use the mapping to dynamically generate models, push them into my message messages. Make sure, make sure this matches. Messages which is my observable array. Now I can go to my view. All right, We'll get rid of all this stuff in here and we're not really going to use blueprint very much in here we'll just do a container so we get some of the classes and let's just do a um, uh, class equals column and now we want to just display those, those records so we're just going to use an unordered list we'll data bind this unordered list and we're going to data bind it using knockouts for each designation. So we're a binding an array, a collection of objects. So for each, and then the name of the collection, which is messages. And for each one of those, we're going to generate a list item. And we'll use a span uh, and data bind the text property to the property of each item. And that's it. We're done. So let's go back, hit Control F5. Our website loads, the JavaScript uh, view model gets defined, the function makes a service call, the data comes back, it binds it to an unordered list on our main page, and oops, we got an error on remove all, that's odd. Oh, messages, plural, spelling counts. Okay, and there we go, we have our data. There's our two records from our database. So new template much simpler uh, I don't have to make any changes to my web config file uh, I don't have to create models in my um, view model either in my model folder or my view model uh, file I use uh, we're using knockout mapping to create those push those into the arrays um, and uh, our service URL much easier we have no code to figure out we have this now this uh, global variable called service URL so some of the changes in the latest version of the template one two just make the coding even simpler um, this is it this is all the coding okay download version 1.2 enjoy uh, any questions um, feel free to post them up on the discussion tab uh, if you have any suggestions for enhancements uh, or if you find any bugs go ahead and post them on the issue tracker